We met with a scientist on a remote island an hour off the main coast by boat. This is where I do my work, this investigation of the bees. Appledore Island. Sounds like a reject from Harry Potter. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful laboratory setting. The reason he's chosen this island for his experiments is there are no trees on that island and therefore no bees nests. Bees usually use a cavity of a tree as their nest. And the reason he wants that is he wants to build his own bee nests that he can control in placement and size. He's studying how bees as a collective choose a nest. And it's completely unbelievable the level of sophistication in the decision making. So here's what happens. Scouts leave the swarm to find a new nest, for example, when they've outgrown their old one, and come back and report on what they've found using this sophisticated waggle dance. That is, they express to the other bees in the colony where the potential nest is, how good it is, and how far it is by doing this figure eight pattern oriented toward the nest that they found. And during the portion of the figure eight where they're running toward the nest, they're waggling their abdomen. Uh, it makes a, a unique sound. And how long that run is determines the distance in kilometers to the nest. And then how many minutes long, from two to 10 minutes that the bee is doing this dance, indicates how enthusiastic that bee is about the potential nest. Because there's other scouts performing the same dance, explaining the distance and quality of their potential nests. And from this, the colony studies the different options. There's actually negative campaigning. One scout will headbutt another one while it's doing the waggle dance saying, pipe down, mine's better. And eventually the nest, the, the swarm settles on one potential nest. They give the thumbs up to the queen bee and off they go within 60 seconds. Something is happening. They're, they're getting really agitated. Yes, they're about to oh launch Oh my gosh, it. are you seeing them peel off like that? Yeah, this whole swarm cluster is going to dissolve. These bees have finished making their decision, they finished making their preparations to fly to the new home. En masse, all of a sudden, 12,000 bees up and fly to the new nest together. Michael, the liftoff is just now taking place. 12,000 bees, look, they're all evaporating. And we were there, we watched it. We stood in the middle of this swarm. Turns out when bees are not at their nests, they have nothing to defend, so they don't sting you. I mean, they were crashing into us, but nobody got stung. And off they flew through a democratic process of bees.